Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 15 of May I Scrap With You and welcome to Sketch Sunday. And as we are doing for this entire month, of course, on the Sundays, the little bit of a twist we have to bring together both May I Scrap Lift You and Sketch Sunday is that each Sunday we are taking one of the Sketch Sunday crew uh, and we are scrap lifting one of her gorgeous, gorgeous layouts, but we are scrap lifting the take on a sketch that we have previously done for Sketch Sunday. And today is the lovely Amber's turn. So Amber, who is Dragonfly D over on Instagram, and of course that is always, always linked down below. Look at her gorgeous layout up here in the corner and I will have put this sketch at the beginning and I'll pop it back at the end again so that you can see uh, which sketch it was and I'm afraid oh darn I'll put it down in the description I'm here um, and I don't remember which series I'm pretty sure it was a 30 days of sketches uh, revisited sketch but either when I come back in the second segment I'll let you know or I'll make sure to pop it down below Anyway, so Amber does the most gorgeous um, mixed media for sure. She is awesome, awesome at layering. She's got the cutest little daughter ever. And she's amazing at titles as well. So let's see what I can do today. So I wanted to, of course, get some mixed media here on the background. And this one was... Um, for Amber, a, a little bit lighter than some of the mixed media she can do. She can really do some of those, you know, those gorgeous backgrounds. She can do that eyes closed. She went a little bit lighter on this one, which I'm a little bit thankful for. I'm a little bit more of a light mixed media. But this is eclectic for me, and it's quite, quite colorful. So, I have a photo here from Mont Saint-Michel in France. This is the tiny, 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 tiny little cemetery that is there. And it's just a lovely view. You can see some water, some homes. So I just wanted to get that recorded. So picking up just from, I guess, a little bit of the colors in here, um, I got one of my Bella Boulevard besties. I'm so sorry about that outdoor noise, my friends. I, 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 summer with the windows open, but... Like I said, uh, I'm going to have to put the air conditioning and close it all up soon. So I don't know which noise is better, air conditioning or outside. I think we're going to stick with outside and some apologies. Anyway, so I went in and I got three mists of Vibes in Palm Reader, a Colorings in Don't Sit On Me, which always turns out to be when I do the packaging technique, a little more yellow than the way it looks. It looks in the bottle, but then when you see the splatters, it definitely is. So that's odd. I have no idea why. Palm Reader for the sort of darker green. And then I went in and got my Heidi Swap Color Shine in Peach. I used the packaging technique for all of them. And then I did some splattering with all of them as well to try and replicate uh, the background fairly well. And, and I think I like it. I like it. So now for those lovely circles, you can see that Amber hand drew the... And I think I, I, I'm going to go back and look because I'm pretty sure one of the um, takes I did on that sketch, that is what I did on the back. I'm going to try if I can find the layouts. Uh, that I did with this sketch. I'm going to pop them at the end for the fun of it. But I think I'm going to do some stamping today. So I have this stamp, uh, Eastern Beauty, it's called, from Stampin' Up. And you can see here that it's just got some circles. So I think I'm going to use those and just do a little bit of stamping down here in probably a darkish green and a bit of a, a sort of peachy 
or maybe I'll go a tone deeper in, in coral, I think. So I'm going to go off and get that stamping done. And then uh, you can see there's not a lot, a lot of pattern paper on there because we do want that gorgeous background to shine through. So I think I want to get in here and use some of my No Limits collection, but I think I'm going to use little scraps and the six by eights. So let's see, I think I kind of like maybe like just this, a nice long colorful strip here for the long colorful strip. So I think I might do that because we have, you know, the corals, the, the green is definitely a different green, but I think it would still go. Uh, I could map the photo in something like this maybe. Yeah, because I don't want to go into this. You see, I find, yeah, it's too dark for what we've got there. So let's see here what we might have that could be fun. Well, the, the wood grain, you can never, never go wrong, can you, with a wood grain? So I might keep that out. And another wood grain. Ooh, there we go. Maybe this green. Let's put that out. these stars. I do, do love those. Oh, I might want to use some of that because you see, there you go. Amber has some tags over on the side. So I think I might like bring in this one for sure. The green, I don't think I'm going to need two of. And then we have this one as well. So there you go, that might give us some ideas for matting as well. This, would I put this, I might just map the photo in this, where did, where, where did my photo go? Ah, there it is. Yeah, you see I do like my photo matted like that. Then we could bring in, I might sort of bring in the wood grain. And then this as the larger piece. What do you think? I, I kind of like that. And then we would have this nice colorful strip down here. I kind of like that, my friends. All right, let me go off and get this started and I will be back with you in a jiffy. Okay, my friends, so I've got the basic design down my photo placed and all of the matting done. Now I did, I went in and I used three different stamps this time. I used the large circle one here, the smaller sort of chain one, and then this little tiny dotted stamp. And I sort of love, love the effect that that gives. It doesn't show all that much down here, so I, maybe I should have put all of this up a little bit more or done a little extra stamping there, but I like it. I like it. And I used two Stampin' Up! inks, the Mossy Meadow and the Calypso Coral. As I mentioned, I wanted just a little bit of a darker tone to those greens and peaches. So I got that down. Uh, did my matting in pretty much the same way that Amber did hers. Got my photo down, got these two little cut aparts, which I said I was going to use, and I sort of just put them as a tag, and we'll see. Maybe at the end I'll just pop an enamel dot there. I'll see what else I get done up in this corner. So I got a few of the ephemera pieces out, a couple of the chipboard, some Nicole Jones 911 stars as well as stars from uh, the collection, a couple of uh, Nicole birds, um, this little chipboard piece and some dotty about flare and of course the gorgeous wood buttons. And I have the chipboard and stickers there. So let's see what else we can do. Now, I've already decided that my title will come across here. And it will simply be um, Mont Saint-Michel. And I'm going to start it here the way 
Amber did. Now, Amber put it up on top here. I think I'm going to put it across here. What do we think? Let's see. Do I want it here? Or do I want it? Oh, you know what? I kind of like that there. Oh, well, there we go. All right. Let's. And let's just have it overlap the teensiest bit. All right. Well, see? Amber knows best. I should have known. I should have known, my friend, that you would have it the way it should be. Um, okay. My favorite letters here. Let's get this one. And then we'll take this little T. And we need another little T. Oh, I hope this fits. That will be annoying if it doesn't. Hmm, I'm beginning to wonder. There we go. Well, at least it's, yeah, you see, that's going to come on over here, isn't it? And I don't want to do that. So I think we'll need to get a little something in there. What if we did something like this? Maybe. It doesn't come quite up to there, does it? That would, oh, maybe something like that. Hmm, let's see. Anyway, let's see where it goes. Because we I can already tell that it is going to go over. Maybe not too much though. If I scooch all of this quite close, it might not be too bad. Oh, you know what? It might be Juiced or juiced, as uh, Joey would say. You know what? Because it finishes with an L, we will just make it. Oh, my goodness me. All right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, it is there and it's down. Now, I kind of like the idea of this large and lovely globe here because it is a travel page. So, does that have enough? Oh, that is sticky. Well, look at that. Bring it down sort of here. There we go. There, I do like that. Okay, and I have uh, a little sticker here that I popped there, and it sort of stuck. So it's staying with the date. So I'll just pop that in there. I do, I don't know the actual day, but I do know that it was in September, so oh nine, uh, two thousand and five. So we'll put that there. Um, now you see, I was looking at maybe sort of one of the stars there. But now that I kind of have this out, I kind of like the idea of popping that in there. And I could maybe do just a touch of journaling and then pop one of the smaller stars sort of there. And... Yeah, you know what? I, I, I kind of like that. Let's, let's do it. I don't know what I'll do now. It leaves a little bit of an awkward area here. Total legend, not really. Classified.
no. I'm not sure. Let's let's leave that. Oh, you know what? I might just put. We can maybe just put a star. Uh, so let's come down here because I'm not too sure what I want to do here. Let's put that there. I definitely want to use some of the wood buttons. Now, is there anything here that I might? This that I thought might go well here with uh, a flare. I definitely want to get a flare down here, or I think maybe more up here. What I do is because I want to get something there. Going to be awesome. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, let's see. Could we do the maybe fun, fun, fun? Have it there. Here kind of thing. Pop a flare on top and then we need a little something in there. And that might be where we put that little sticker would that be i do i sort of like that i sort of like that it mimics a little bit what uh amber has let's see okay you see i think i'm getting there now up here i think we'll just pop this and a flare. there we go pop that and flare then we can just pop a tiny wood button here yeah there we go i think that will finish that area off beautifully then i do like this i just need a little something down here so what you know what maybe how about if we use this little round sticker and pop it there? It will mimic this one with the, uh, then it would have to be even on top here, wouldn't it? Yeah, sort of something like that. That, so we'd have to bring it out. a little too big I sort of like it okay let's bring it maybe all the way down here and then we can get that popped here there we go okay so I, I'm gonna say I like that let's let's do that because I'm faffing now my friends There we go. Okay, so I do like that. Let's put this fella down. There we go. Let's get the flare popped up there so we finish that area off. up a bit more there we go and that lovely little wood button let's put this little star here actually would we do maybe this one instead or the blue Let's get the blue one right there. I think that will finish that area off. That area is done as well. 
Um, so we're just about there, my friends. Now I just need a little something here. Would I put a star instead? Maybe like that. I do kind of like that. Down here. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. And I still don't know whether we have a little something that we need to fill in that little gap. like that there we go hmm now I kind of feel that a flare is maybe a little bit too much would be maybe Can I put one up here no you know what I'm I'm trying to do too much now I think we are going to just bring in this little wood button and finish something off here like that there we go and I my friends I'm going to call that done we'll see as I look through it um, maybe when I do the share at the end of the month there might be a little bit more I'll do a teensy little bit of journaling there get my date there uh, but I think I am happy with this one in the books. Thank you, my lovely friend Amber, for the awesome, awesome inspiration. Um, make sure, my friends, you pop along and see what everyone playing along with May I Scrap Lift You um, has for you today. And specifically, of course, the Sketch Sunday squad, as we are all doing the lovely Amber today. Everything is linked down below. Um, there will not be a May I Scrap Lift You video tomorrow because I do have another one, sort of, I guess, coming up on my channel this evening at 6 o'clock as it stretched the sketch Sunday as well. And we have a fun, fun twist because it's our fourth anniversary. So that's at 6 p.m. this evening. Don't miss that. Tomorrow will be another kit building, uh, page kit building uh, video for...